Being a mum is the best thing ever. <laughs> Ow. But ask me uh, tomorrow and I might say, give you a different answer. <laughs> Can you grab it? She always told me she's stopping and then having kids. Never having kids while she's racing. <laughs> there were times when it seemed impossible. Time planning. You must sleep. It's tough to be a parent. It's a lot harder than I expected. There you go. Wake up multiple times during the night. We would have liked to have had four children. We would have liked to have had four, yeah, but... Kind of. She's a superhero. Do I clap it? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Mm. Yeah, that's probably the youngest picture we've got of Lizzie in competitive sport. She was a totally active kid who did every sport that was going. I was actually not really a cyclist at all. Um, no, that sounds stupid. The Olympics had been announced that it was coming to London. British Cycling had a look at their kind of talent coming through the ranks and decided there wasn't enough. And we used to go into schools and basically run a talent test. She didn't actually stand out in the sense of just winning the race. Stuff that we looked for was more about character and their attitude and application and things like that. Lizzie came back from the talent team selection and she said to me, oh, Dad, I'm going to be riding for Great Britain. My ambition was to be part of the British cycling track system. I was very successful on the track, but I loved being outside. I loved what the road offered. I chose to try and make it on the road. Watching the world through a child's eyes is totally different. It makes you realise that the world's a really interesting place. Ola really reminds me of Lizzie because she's just completely active all the time, like a little rocket. I'd always wanted to be a mum, but it felt like this distant kind of idea. My career was always my main focus. My husband was a professional cyclist as well. So our whole world revolved around being the best athletes that we could be. It can be quite mentally draining if all you think about all the time is cycling. <laughs> we'll get the shot, don't worry. There's no minimum standards the way that teams operate to say, hey, if you want to have a family, do just stop your career and finish. She wanted to be a young mother um, and she couldn't understand why she couldn't continue in the sport. She saw the whole thing as a challenge to to become a mother and then to come back. She's showing it's possible and you can do it and having such supportive teams that are really encouraging that I think is also important for the sport. While she had a good time with her previous team, I think the approach of um, Trek. <laughs> sorry, uh, you know, sorry, I don't know what I'm allowed to say. Am I allowed to advertise here? Yeah, it's not the BBC. It's not the BBC. Oh, sorry, I've messed but up. But yeah, you got the right team. I didn't know if I was allowed to say that. <laughs> Okay, right, I'm sorry about that. I'll, shall I carry on? Yeah. No. Having uh, Orla refreshed her appetite <laughs> for the sport, really. <laughs> we definitely have to get one of those. You want me to make Lizzie laugh? Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. It's easy. Just laugh at your face. Let's see. You know, Monica, there's not many single people, at least in our circles. So it's kind of like, all right, game on. We're like, how can we connect? Because they were both a bit awkward. Ah, uh, can she kiss me? Yeah, kiss me. Okay. And then we look at each other and kiss. <laughs> Shut up, you're so embarrassing. <laughs> Meeting my husband was something that came out of the blue. I really didn't expect to fall in love with him. I had Bob on a kiss. I had Bob on a kiss. Wow. 
So myself and Lizzie first met uh, as teammates back in 2010. She always kind of fancied him, always talked about how she fancied him, like, you know, his eyes, his crazy blue pill eyes. And uh, it was just a bit of a brief encounter, really, in the, in the buffet. I had sort of noticed her looking at all the desserts and I went and stood up next to her and just said, yeah, it's pretty dangerous. We had a bit of a laugh about that. Because <laughs> you know? we don't do selfies, do we? There's a the dog. Here, doggy. Get away, dog. She's petrified of animals. Get away. Hey, doggy. <laughs> no. He'd been a friend for a little while and we both sat down and, and had an amazing chat and realised just how similarly we were. I remember her telling me, you know, took on the Vespa and she was like, I was trying to go as crazy as possible so it at least like hold on to me, but nothing. To see them like blossom together has been pretty amazing. We are cherishing every moment we have. Yeah. That's so soppy. <laughs> That's so soppy, God. He's, yeah, he's just, just a really nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's the secret to a healthy marriage, attack each other. Welcome to the Phil Show. For every athlete who takes to the start line there, I think it's going to be a special race. If Lizzie does not win the race, she says the worst thing we can do is act as though somebody died. We always just say, just, just try your best and say safe. Whether I win or not, I'm determined to really embrace the experience. The World Championships in September. All it will be a year and four days old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be proud of myself when I cross that finish line. She says it all the time, you know, like coming across the finish line in, in Yorkshire, having her daughter there, me there, all the family at a home world championship, so it would just be a dream come true, really. <laughs> I think even if she doesn't win, she's just happy that this World Championships has taken place in her hometown. The race result and the performance is one thing, but actually the experience of doing all this is something to be appreciated in itself. It's not the result we were hoping for, but she left it all out there. Super mommy, super bike rider, not World Champion this year, but she'll be back next year. They've given me so much, you know, he's given me so much support and like, he was still smiling and all. I had no idea what was going on, but um, yeah, I wouldn't have been, been anywhere near close without him. I've made it possible. We did it as a family. We got back to the top of cycling, the top of my sport. I've always wanted to be Olympic champion and I would love to finish my career with that gold medal.